Hi, in this video we're going to show you how to clone your Windows system drive to a larger drive using the free CloneZilla software. So we did a video on this a while ago showing you how to do it, but with the latest version of CloneZilla it now allows you to expand your clone to a larger drive and use the extra space. So what I mean by that is before if you were to clone to a larger drive you would have ended up with some unallocated space because it would just copy the size of the main partition to the new drive and not use the extra space. And then you'd have to either expand the disk, and then sometimes you ran into the problem where you'd have a partition in the way and you couldn't expand it. And then you'd have to use something like Niubi Partition Editor to move your partitions around so you could then expand it. So this new version has an option to automatically allocate all the space on the destination drive so you don't have to do that. So that's what we're going to show you today. All right, so for this computer, we have our disk zero, our C drive, 64 gig drive with our EFI system partition and recovery partition. And then we have a 100 gig drive with unallocated space. So you don't have to format the drive. You don't need to give it a drive letter. You could use it just like this. All right, so obviously you're going to have to download the CloneZilla software, burn it to a CD, or use something like Rufus to put it on a bootable flash drive and then boot your computer to it. So that's what we're going to do right now. So let's uh, reboot and then we'll be back when the CloneZilla is loaded. All right, so we have the main CloneZilla menu here. So you have a lot of options at the top, but you want to choose the first one just to load CloneZilla live by pressing enter. All right, so now you're going to need to choose your language. It should pick your language by default, so we'll just press Enter. Okay, then if you want to change your keyboard layout, you could do so. But it's set to the right one here, U.S. keyboard, so I'll press Enter. Okay, so now we're going to choose the option to start CloneZilla. All right, on this screen here, you're most likely going to want to use the device to device option here because we're going from drive to drive, not to an image. So we'll choose that and press enter. Okay, so now you have some options here if you want to go into an expert mode, but beginner mode should be just fine for most people. All right, so here we want to choose disk to local disk because we're not doing partitions, we're doing the whole disk. All right, so here's the important part. You need to make sure to choose the correct drive for the source disk. It should choose it for you automatically, but you want to verify that it's the correct one. And you'll notice that the sizes are a little off. So it was a 64 gig drive and it shows 68. And the destination was a 100 gig drive and it shows 107. Not sure why it does that, but just keep that in mind. All right, so we're going to use the 64 gig drive for the source. Okay, so since there was only one other drive, it automatically selected it for the destination. So if you have more than two drives in your computer, make sure you pick the correct one for your destination. And I will say, too, you should back up your personal files before doing anything like this, just in case something goes wrong. All right, so we'll press Enter for this. Okay, so you could choose to have it check and repair the disk if you think it's necessary, but we're going to skip that. All right, so here's the part that's new. So the default option is to use the partition table from the source disk, which will make the destination drive the same size as the source. So if you're going to a larger drive and you want to allocate all of the extra space, you should choose the option here, the K1 Create Partition Table Proportionally. All right, so I'll press Enter here. All right, then here you could choose what action to perform when everything's done. You could have it Go to the command line, reboot or shut down. I'm going to choose the first option to prompt me. All right, then you're going to get a warning telling you that all the data on the destination drive will get wiped out. So you just need to type in Y to continue. And then confirm by typing Y again.
All right, then you'll see these bars going across a few times, and it'll say clone successfully, even though it's not done yet. So you're going to have to wait till this gets to 100%. So I will pause the video and then be back when it's completed. All right, so the process is complete. So we'll just press Enter to continue. All right, so now we need to decide what to do. We want to reboot, go to a command prompt, or start over. We're going to do the power off option. And so what I'll do now is turn off the computer, remove the original source drive, and then just boot up to the new larger drive, and we'll see what happens. All right, so we're booted back up into Windows, and you can see we have all our icons, and we have disk management open, and you can see now that our C drive is 100 gigs instead of 64. So it looks like the clone worked, and it actually used the extra space on the drive so we didn't have to expand it afterwards. All right, so as you can see, it's not too difficult to clone your Windows drive using Clonezilla. So I will put a link in the description where you can download Clonezilla, and you can try it for yourself. All right, thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe.